Let's talk about sound mixing a little further. Um, in order to control the levels in Pro Tools, we have the ability to rubber band, we talked a little bit about. Uh, but if you want to start really mixing, you need to listen to the soundtrack while you're actually adjusting the levels. And if you just work within the program itself, you can only adjust one track at a time because you're restricted to the mouse. So if I'm moving one fader up and down, that's okay. But once I start having other tracks playing at the same time, I want to control things. Um, so the other way is if I look at my uh, mix window here, I could see all the faders. Still, I, I'm still limited to I can only touch one fader at a time. Um, now, uh, if I want, I have the ability to control uh, the sound mix with an external device. This is one of my favorites. This is the, one of the first ones that came out. It's quite successful. It's the Mackie Huey or the human interface, human user interface, that's what Huey stands for. And it enables me to move the faders now. Once I have uh, everything enabled into automation mode, if I touch any one of these fades, I can control all the levels at, at once. Or I can grab a couple faders at once. I mean, generally what I like to do is I want to listen to the dialogue, get that going, and I want to listen to it and see what I can adjust. But now I have the ability to adjust more than one thing at the same time. It makes mixing go a lot faster. Um, the Huey is one of the favorites. It's an original one. You can still get the Huey online, uh, probably at, at uh, eBay and so forth. I paid $2,700 for this. I think they've gone down to about 1000 bucks. The other choices are the Command 8, which is a great option. Uh, essentially, it's like a glorified mouse. It lets you do a lot of the things you can do in the window right here on the surface. I can play, uh, stop, I can do a little bit of editing, but mainly what I use it for is, is those faders. And these faders are nice too. They're nice and quiet. They don't make a lot of noise. Um, so that's a really good tip. If you want to start controlling things and balancing things, this is the way to go. It makes your mix go a lot faster. And if you can do a lot of mixing, this is the way to go.